Let's make some amazingly gooey caramel millionaire shortbread. Welcome back to my channel bakers. Today we're going to make a shortbread that complements the caramel sauce that I made earlier this week. We're going to go ahead and start adding our three ingredients for the shortbread base, which is 150 grams of all-purpose flour, 50 grams of sugar, and then 100 grams of plant-based butter. Next, you're going to use your hand mixer and just mix all of that together until it makes a really crumbly mix, as you can see here. Then you're going to go ahead and grease your 8x8 cake pan and we're actually going to bake the shortbread in this so you want to line it with some parchment paper and notice here that I'm leaving a little bit of an overhang on each side as that's going to make it easier for us to release the shortbread from the tin once all those layers are added and everything is set. So go ahead and pop that shortbread ingredient in there. Again, you can see it's quite crumbly, but what we are going to do is press it down with the spatula and that's going to push everything into place. And when it bakes, it will come together really nicely and give that lovely crumbly shortbread texture. Okay, that is perfect. The next thing we'll do with it though is actually prick a couple of holes in it with a fork. That just helps it bake a little bit more evenly. And then we're gonna pop it in our preheated oven at 320 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 minutes. Now you can see here, I'm using a toaster oven for this because it is such a small bake. If you haven't got a toaster oven, you can of course bake this in your regular oven as well. And once it's done, this is what it looks like. You can see it's just gone slightly golden on the edges. I'm gonna pop it to one side and next we're gonna add our caramel sauce. So this is 250 ml of caramel sauce. I'm gonna pop the recipe link above for you and of course the recipe link for this and also the caramel sauce will be in the description below as well. So make sure you check out that after you've watched the rest of the video. Use a spatula to spread that caramel sauce all over your shortbread. You wanna make sure that it's nice and even as well, and also that you get into those corners too. We don't wanna have any bits of our shortbread missing that gorgeous caramel. And then I'm just gonna pick it up, tap it on the surface a couple of times to level it off, and then we can go ahead and make our chocolate layer. So this time I'm just using 270 grams of vegan chocolate chips. I've melted them in the microwave for one minute, checking it at 30 second intervals. You wanna bring it out at that one minute mark and give it a really, really good stir like you can see here. Now it is gonna need one more minute in the microwave, but the key with microwaving chocolate is that you wanna make sure you stir it regularly. This is at the perfect consistency we need. And now that our caramel has set slightly, we're gonna add it on top. Now something you can do if it is particularly warm when you're making your millionaire shortbread is actually set that caramel layer in the fridge for a couple of hours. It was quite warm in my kitchen when I made this so mine was a little bit softer than I would normally like but you can still go ahead and add that chocolate to it and then just set everything in the fridge afterwards. So I'm just using the back of my spoon to smooth that again into the corners just as we did with that caramel sauce. That looks perfect. We've got all of our areas covered there. And then I'm gonna grab a fork and we're just gonna create a little bit of a swirl effect with a fork just to add a little bit of a peak of that caramel to the top of the shortbread bars. That is the shortbread made. So now what we need to do again is just set everything aside. We want that chocolate to set completely. You could pop it in the fridge like I said earlier to do that. And then once it has solidified, just loosen it off with a sharp knife. And then we're gonna pull on the sides on the overhang of the parchment paper to release it from the cake pan. And you can see there the beautiful layers already. We've got that nice swirl on top as well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. So I'm just gonna use the other side of the parchment to steady it because it is quite hard to cut. And you will see here, once I show it to you, we've got that really ooey gooey layer of caramel in the middle. And we've got a really nice ratio of our shortbread biscuit to our chocolate as well. And let's have one more look at that close up with the gooey 
caramel that I mentioned. Doesn't that look great? And it was so easy to make as well. So if you've enjoyed watching this video, make sure you pop a comment below, like the video and share it with your friends as well. And check out the recipe on my website. If you love this kind of content, make sure you check out this bake along playlist and also this recipe for my vegan caramel sauce. Thanks for watching.